The T-14 Armada is a Russian next-generation main battle tank developed by Ural Vagonzavod. It was first publicly revealed in 2015 and is considered one of the most advanced tanks in the world. The T-14 Armada features several innovative design features, including an unmanned turret, an active protection system, and a remote-controlled weapon station. It also has a powerful 125mm smoothbore gun and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The T-14 Armada is designed to provide high protection for its crew, with a combination of composite armor, reactive armor, and an active protection system. The tank is also equipped with several sensors and cameras to provide the crew with a comprehensive view of the battlefield. The T-14 Armada is a significant step forward in tank design and is expected to set the standard for future main battle tanks. It is a testament to the engineering prowess of the Russian military-industrial complex and is sure to play a major role in future conflicts. Despite its impressive capabilities, the T-14 has not been deployed to Ukraine for several reasons. 1. Technical Complexity the T-14 Armada incorporates numerous cutting-edge technologies, including an unmanned turret, advanced armor, and a sophisticated fire control system that have not been fully tested or proven in combat. This has led to concerns about the tank's reliability and maintainability. Additionally, the T-14 Armada's complex design has made it difficult to mass-produce, which has further contributed to its high cost. These features make the tank highly complex and require specialized production facilities. In 2019, the tank entered a crucial development phase as it underwent a series of rigorous preliminary tests. These tests were vital in assessing the tank's performance, durability, and readiness for future deployment. The limited utilization of these tanks could be attributed to the concern that Russia, aware of the sensitive technologies likely integrated into its next-generation tank, would aim to prevent its potential capture by Ukrainian forces in case of direct engagement. In addition, the exact number of T-14s in Russia's possession remains unclear, making it uncertain if there are enough of these main battle tanks to influence the battlefield significantly. 2. High Production Cost one of the main problems with the T-14 Armada is its high production cost. The tank is estimated to cost around $4 million per unit, which is significantly more expensive than other main battle tanks such as the American M1 Abrams $8 million and the German Leopard 2 $6 million. This high cost is due to the T-14 Armada's advanced features, such as its unmanned turret, active protection system, and advanced composite armor. The T-14 Armada is a highly sophisticated and technologically advanced tank, which makes it expensive to produce. The estimated cost per unit is significantly higher compared to other tanks in its class, making it challenging for the Russian military to mass-produce it. However, the ongoing delays in initiating large-scale production of this tank present a substantial challenge for Russia. Nevertheless, with the announced exhibition demonstration of the tank, Moscow may strategically aim to attract potential customers who can shoulder the production costs. 3. Shifting Priorities The Russian military has been prioritizing other modernization programs, such as upgrading existing tanks and developing new weapons systems. This has resulted in the T-14 Armada project receiving less attention and funding, further limiting its production. Russia's military is undergoing a significant shift in priorities, moving away from traditional large-scale conflicts and towards smaller, more agile operations. This change is being driven by several factors, including the increasing cost of modern warfare, the rise of asymmetric threats, and the need to maintain a credible deterrent against potential adversaries. One of the most visible aspects of this shift is the reduction in the size of the Russian military. In 2008, the Russian military had over 1 million active duty personnel. By 2018, that number had dropped to around 790,000. This reduction has been accompanied by a shift in focus from large, mechanized formations to smaller, more flexible units that are better suited to modern combat. Another important aspect of Russia's military shift is the increasing emphasis on asymmetric warfare. This includes the use of cyber warfare, electronic warfare, and other non-traditional tactics to disrupt an enemy's ability to fight. 
Russia has also been developing new weapons systems, such as hypersonic missiles, that can evade traditional defenses. 4. Economic Challenges Russia's economy has faced challenges in recent years, including sanctions fluctuations in oil prices, and a weak business environment. The Russian economy has been in recession since 2014, and this has made it difficult for the Russian government to fund the T-14 Armada project. These economic constraints have impacted defense spending, making it difficult for the Russian military to allocate sufficient funds for the mass production of the T-14 Armada, which has also been the victim of political interference. The project has been championed by Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has made it a priority to modernize the Russian military. However, this has also led to a lot of micromanagement from the Kremlin, which has slowed down the development process. As a result of these delays, the T-14 Armada is now unlikely to enter service before 2025. This is a significant setback for the Russian military, as the T-14 Armada is seen as a key component of its future armored forces. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more military technology updates.